So this is the part where I switch from my phone camera to the Canon EOS M50. And that's gonna happen in 3, 2, 1. What is going on? My name is Arjun and welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a break from all of the usual finance content because I have some big exciting news for you all. This is probably the most excited I've been in a long time because I got new filming gear. I posted on Instagram about this recently and a few of you all reached out to me on what exactly I got, how much everything costs and how I make my videos. So I thought I'd unbox everything on camera and give you all the juicy details. I'll be leaving a link to all of these items down in the description box below. So if you want to check them out or potentially even buy some of them, you know where to go. Okay, with that out of the way, let's do this. Let's maybe start with the um, mic first. So this is the mic that I got. It's called the Rode Video Micro and I got it on Amazon for around $60. Until now, I was recording on a very cheap clip-on microphone which decides when it wants to work on its own. Actually, let me show you. This plugs into the phone right here and then you can clip this on onto your collar. Uh, but it hasn't been working that great of late so this, this mic comes at a really good time. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this now. So this is what is inside the package. So here is the mount and then here you have the actual mic. So this thing that goes over it is apparently called a dead cat. I did not know this even had a name, but yeah, the more you know, I guess. So you can just slide this mic onto this mount like this and then you can put the dead cat over. And then this just sits on top of the camera. So we'll be testing this out later on once I open the, the camera. So let's just put this aside for now. Okay, so now for the part I'm most excited about. Let's open up this camera. And here it is, the Canon EOS M50. I have never owned a camera in my life, so this is a pretty big deal for me. Let's open this up and see what's inside. So you have the manual. I'm one of those weirdos who reads every page in the manual. So I know what I'll be doing tonight. And then you have the camera strap. And then here you have the battery charger. And this just plugs into the wall. And then this should be the battery itself. And I read that this battery doesn't come charged, so I'm just gonna put this onto this charger and charge it right now. Okay, so while the battery is charging, let's go ahead and see what else is in this box. So right here you have the lens, and this is just the kit lens that comes with the camera. It's a 15 by 15 to 45 mm lens. This is actually a very small lens. Um, but I guess that makes sense since the camera itself is a compact camera. And then now for the big moment. So here is the camera itself. Oh my god, so exciting. Okay, wow. This looks really stunning. The camera is quite small, it fits in the palm of my hand. I mean, I have no issues with that because this way I can even take the camera out and, you know, shoot as I'm, as I'm walking around. So not complaining at all. And cameras are really expensive, y'all. This camera with the lens included costs $650 on Amazon. And this is one of the most popular cameras used by YouTubers and it came with rave recommendations. I really like the grip. It feels very solid and sturdy in my hand. And one of my favorite parts is this screen. So you can turn this and flip it over. 
this is like a very big blessing because until now I was filming on my phone and every time I had to walk over and make sure I was in the shot correctly. So this way as I'm filming I can just look at myself um, in the screen on the side and that way I can know if you know I'm in frame and in focus and all of that. The tricky part here is that this screen is off to the side so it's going to take some practicing for me to actually look at the lens and not focus on myself on the screen but hopefully I get better with this as time goes by. Okay so the camera battery is still charging in the meanwhile I'll show you some of the other stuff that I got. So this is a camera bag that I bought let me just open this up for you all. So if you look inside there's another strap and then there's a bag as well if I want to put anything inside. Um, I can put the camera here, I can put maybe the lens here and a mic here and you know I can store some SD cards here if I want to and it also has these, these sort of clasps so you can slide your tripod through. Um, so I think this is going to be very 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 useful for me. So another thing that I got is this SanDisk 128GB SD card and this is going to help me out a lot because when I was filming on my phone I had to constantly keep deleting things to make sure that there's space on my phone but with 128 gigs um, that's going to be less of a problem so I'm really happy about this. Okay so the final thing I got is this. So this is the newer ring light, it is the 18 inch version. I absolutely love this because it now allows me to film even when natural light is low. All this time I could film only during the day when there was sunlight. With the days getting shorter and the sun setting now at like 5.30pm, it meant that I could only film on the weekends. So I couldn't have bought this ring light at a better time in my opinion. So this cost around $85 on Amazon and I've used it a couple of times and absolutely love it. You can move this up or down according to your preference. You have the option for warm and white light and you can adjust the brightness of that light to your required level. I used this in my previous video for a short segment and I thought it did a really good job of lighting up my face. So I'm really excited to see how I can use this in more videos in the future. Two hours later. Okay, so it's been two hours. This battery is now fully charged. So let's put it into the camera and see how this goes. So now let's attach the lens. So you can open this up like this. And then the lens, you can remove both the caps like this. So the way this works is you align these white dots that are on the lens to the camera and then it just clicks into place like this. So here's the mic, there's this mount at the top so you just slide it onto the mount and then you can go ahead and tighten this. So if you open this up on the side there should be a spot for you to put this cable in and then the same thing into the back of the camera. Okay, so this is how the camera looks with the mic attached and the lens as well. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I feel like an actual YouTuber speaking into this. So let's go ahead and power it on and see how this thing records. So this is the part where I switch from my phone camera to the Canon EOS M50. And that's gonna happen in three, two, one, Okay, so this is the new camera. Can you tell the difference in the audio and video quality? Let me know in the comment section down below because I'm looking at myself in the screen on the right and I can certainly tell a difference. So just let me know if you guys think the same as well. All of the settings right now are on full default. So maybe if I'm able to play around with the settings a little more, I can get the picture even more clearer and crisp. So this camera is also capable of shooting in 4K, but there's a crop factor where everything is sort of moved in. So I'm gonna test it out and see if I can actually use it. But even otherwise, this camera has amazing autofocus. This is the first piece of footage I'm taking with my new camera. And I'm just looking at my screen, uh, myself on the screen and I look absolutely amazing. I'm in love with this already. All of the items that I showed you put together come out to be around $850 in total. 
and with taxes you're looking at close to a thousand dollars so it's definitely quite steep but you all have been really amazing you've been watching all of my videos and helping my channel grow so i thought it would be a worthwhile investment to put out higher quality videos for you all so i really hope you like it there's absolutely no doubt about it youtube is an amazing platform and there's room for all different types of content if you're thinking about starting out on youtube i would not recommend going out and buying all of this gear right away start out with what you have use your phone see if you like creating videos and then eventually over time upgrade to a better setup the absolute last thing you want to do is go spend a bunch of money and then not end up using what you buy with that said that brings me to the end of this video i hope you all enjoyed this more casual mix up of content as always don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time around